New from overnight now, we have two people injured in what officials are calling a suspicious fire. Three homes in a Dayton historic district also damaged. Jordan Bur Burgess live now back from the scene with this morning's top story. Jordan. At this hour, investigators continue to look into that fire. It started at a vacant home, but quickly spread through the block, despite neighbors who tried to put it out with a garden hose. And take a look at the damage left behind by this fire here at 26 Garrett Street. For starters, a woman who lives in the house next door to where the fire started was taken to Miami Valley Hospital with smoke inhalation. Our cameras were there on the scene as she had problems breathing. We're told she's since been stabilized. We're also told one firefighter was taken to the hospital after being overcome by the heat on this humid morning. He's expected to be okay. This fire started at a vacant home but soon threatened the homes next door. One that's for rent and another where that woman lives along with her husband. He described to us how she woke him up to let him know about the flames. Jose, Jose, wake up. The house and the flames is fire. Oh, really? Let me, let me go. I mean, see, opening the window. Oh, my God, I'm going 911. Now, thankfully, that man's home was saved by firefighters. This is the second time that neighborhood's seen flames in the last week. Days earlier, firefighters say they were there on another fire. No word yet on whether the two are connected, but officials certainly concerned about these suspicious fires. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.